G'day crew, my name's Luke from Aquatic Rehab Spearfishing and uh, welcome to the first episode of the Lockdown Tapes. In this video I'm basically going to highlight two encounters, uh, a hammerhead shark encounter in New Zealand and a Marco shark encounter. Uh, two pretty cool encounters and, and pretty different as well. Uh, remember if you like the content and you want to see more of it, hit like and subscribe. So the first shark encounter um, is a pretty cool one to have in New Zealand. And um, that's this um, hammerhead that I've got behind me here. They're quite rare to be able to swim with. There's a big difference between being able to get close to it on the boat or being able to interact with it in the water. Generally when you see them they'll kind of come in and then they'll see you and then they're gone. Um, they don't really like it. And if you're going to have a good encounter, generally it means that the, the hammerhead doesn't know that you're there. Now I think this species is a smooth hammerhead, I could be wrong. It definitely has a very shy characteristic in comparison to the um, hammerheads that you get in other places in the world. This is another interesting thing. Um, the day that we went out, I went with William Pike, who lost a leg um, in a volcanic eruption, and Wayne Piggott who lost a leg um, at a work accident. Both of these Spiros have missing legs. So I'll put their Instagram accounts in the description of this video if you want to check out what those guys do. So yeah, we went out to this rock and we're doing a bit of diving and um, yeah, we ended up getting into the kingies. Uh, I remember shooting a kingfish. We um, went out to target snapper on a group of islands uh, away from where we were diving, probably a couple of k's away, and um, we started seeing these hammerheads. So just this big um, dorsal fin can be a real telltale sign that it's a hammerhead. So we were seeing them every once in a while, and um, we had a couple of kawai in the bin. I said, look, slow the boat down and let's um, throw the kawai over uh, on a, um, a float and see if the shark's gonna come up and have a sniff and I'll jump in the water with a camera. So I wasn't really expecting it to happen, we threw this thing over and um, I slid off the side of the boat and um, this hammerhead was doing like back and forward, back and forward, and I think it didn't quite know that I was in the water, um, obviously because I was like right next to the boat. So the shark eventually comes up and uh, it comes right past this carboy. And um, then as it, it looks like, as the shark comes past the kawai, it looks, it's, it's eyeing up the kawai and then it sees me and then it turns and leaves and gone, won't come back. So um, yeah, but to, for me to get the whole uh, hammerhead in the shot, um, I was pretty happy about that, you know, like to have it come close enough where I can actually see like color change and stuff like that, it was sick. And also it looks like there's a hook in the side of its mouth here on the other side. Once I um, play that footage, you'll see that that's sort of moving. There might be a bit of cow for a bit of rope or something there, uh, which isn't uncommon. Um, I couldn't tell you how many of the sharks that we encounter have hooks in their mouths, um, shit loads. And um, yeah, that brings me on to my next encounter because uh, this shark had a massive hook in its mouth. Now, this was a dive. Um, I was helping out uh, Julian at Spiro Camp. I think we have four days with um, spear junkies. So Chris Dillon and Chris Coates. And we went out to White Island. So White Island is um, where that sort of uh, tragic volcanic eruption happened uh, this during summer. And uh, the boys were spearfishing kingfish, looking for some big kingies. So, um, you know, me and Jules were obviously boating and um, helping the boys out and doing stuff. So um, doing a bit of filming in that too. And uh, we're back on the boat and just sort of, I think there was a bit of an interview going on about the fish what the water was like in, here in New Zealand for them. And we've seen this Marco hanging out under one of the floats. So I think the floats are still out the back. No fish on the floats, no um, burly in the water or anything like that. And then the shark came right up to the back of the boat. And even during interview, this thing was so curious that it just wouldn't leave the boat alone. That is kind of uh, typical Marco behavior from the point of view of a fisherman. Ionic reaction with the metal um, and the outboard and stuff like that. They come up and they're nosing it, sometimes biting it and stuff. 
Um, some people see that as um, <clears throat> aggressive behavior, but it's not at all. So we're like, okay, we got to get in with this thing because these boys have got this, you know, you're only here for a limited amount of time. Going, they're going around the world filming for their um, show. We hop in with this shark and uh, it was just awesome. So Chris Coates obviously got some really cool photos and video and stuff like that. The shark was so confident, like just coming right up to us. Yeah, I got in with the GoPro and the one thing that really um, kills me about this encounter is the fact that I had the GoPro on super wide. And this makes the shark's appearance, firstly it looks a lot further away than it is. Um, as you guys will know, when you use super wide, it's just catching such a massive uh, wide um, angle. It distorts the look of the shark, so the shark looks quite gaunt and long and weird in a lot of the footage. And some of this footage actually shows how close it got, like this shark was coming as close to me as this plant here. So um, yeah, it was a um, pretty cool encounter, but I wish I'd had that, um, the GoPro on that other setting and had been able to have the stabilization in that on. So yeah, man, we got in with this thing and, and uh, we probably spent a good 20 odd minutes with it. Just getting passes and, and cruising around and the shark was obviously, um, as Marcos are, always quite inquisitive. Uh, you always have to sort of judge it case by case. This one did seem really quite persistent to come in and look and come in and come in and come in. Um, they are a shark that you have to watch. Um, I'm not going to say that there is no danger in swimming with them, but um, they do make for a cool encounter because they're very inquisitive. Um, my main concern, and this is a concern uh, that quite a few people have in the water, is that when you when you're not haven't got your skin covered. Um, it looks like flesh, so it looks like a big white bit of meat. Like I know a few guys that have been dealing with sharks for a very long time. Um, you know, they'll obviously always like to have gloves on just to keep that white skin sort of um, um, shielded from view. So yeah, uh, wicked encounter. Always cool to swim with them and uh, get out into that blue water and um, you know just interact with an animal like that. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, remember, like and subscribe if you want to see more content, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.